So, 2018 ends and I'm on a roller coaster. I told you I didn't follow a path to success. It was more like a roller coaster. So hold on tight. Because things were going up and down and up and down like that. I started 2019 really, really strong. I wrote the next book in my biker series, Flint. Uh, it remains one of my favorite books, one of my best books. And when I published it, if you looked at all the metrics in terms of how the promotions hit and stuff like that, everything indicated it was gonna be uh, a book that at least hit the same performance as the other successful books I'd done. I'd expected it to make like $11,000 in royalties that first month, and instead it made seven, which didn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, and in some ways, I should have looked back and realized that was the canary in the coal mine, that something was up. But I continued regardless, because there's no problem big enough, you can't ignore it. And uh, I continued writing and publishing books, because I, I had it down, right? I figured it out. The next book that I published, um, I was doing a bit of experimentation, but I was, I was pretty confident it was going to be successful. It was like a spy book, but it had the same like heroin in jeopardy, big butch anti-hero who has a heart of gold thing. I thought it was going to be a real hit. And Amazon saw it and characterized, categorized it as erotica rather than romance. And if you know anything about uh, Amazon, you know that if a book is categorized as erotica, it gets dungeoned which means it gets removed from the general search things and it's pretty much invisible. So that book I published, did all of the promotion things and nothing happened. It was practically invisible. So I was like, whew, that's not ideal. Better write another biker book to make up for it. So I wrote another biker book that I really, really love. It was really, really fun. Um, and I launched that one, got some great reviews for it, ran promotions, everything seemed to be going great and then it disappeared. For four days, it just vanished off Amazon, and then suddenly it reappeared. But the problem is, all of that promotion I'd been doing was pointless. It was like it had never happened. And so this book appeared on Amazon, and it was, it was practically invisible because all of the promotions had basically been wiped away. So, yeah, I was like, okay, all of that time that I've spent writing two books, I, I might as well not have written anything. So I wrote another biker book, and it was successful, and it helped me claw back uh, some of the ground that I'd lost, but it really was a roller coaster, and it made me realize that I was facing an enemy, and that enemy was Jeff Bezos. Now, bless his shiny head, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without Jeff Bezos, but it was really, really frustrating because it was very clear that Amazon was moving the goalposts. Amazon was starting to experiment with, with what they had on Kindle. And one thing in particular that they were doing, which I kind of saw the indications with, with that book Flint that I published in January, they um, had started experimenting with advertising on Amazon, which is where previously Amazon would suggest all these different books that might be right for you. And they were all suggested organically based off other books you bought and other books other people had bought. In fact, there's a section on Amazon called the also bought section, which is where people who bought this book also bought this book, so you might like it. And the also bought section back in those days was the best advertising money couldn't buy. The only way to get your books featured in the also bought section was through giving them away as a free promotion or selling a significant number of books. But if they were there, it was, it was like a guaranteed way to get visibility, get clicks, get sales for months to come. And that beautiful section at the top of the product page, Amazon moved right down to the bottom and replaced it with a strip of what they call sponsored content, which is basically paid advertisements. And that meant the, the beautiful system that I had in place, uh, that I had been running for six months and you know, could, could pretty much guarantee uh, $10,000 a month when you launched a book that was really successful, suddenly it stopped working. And when I say it stopped working, you know, I ev did everything right with Flint and instead of an $11,000 a month, I got a $7,000 a month and it continued going downhill. As Amazon invested more time and effort into the advertising on Amazon, it meant all of the, the strategies that I had to have organic results started to be less effective. Um, what used to net me almost a guaranteed $10,000 that first month when I'd launched a book was suddenly only giving me $2,500, which was a significant drop in income. 
Uh, it meant basically that if I wanted to keep my income at a, a level at which I could support my family, I had to publish a book pretty much every single month. And that is tough enough. That is tough enough. That is faster than anybody should write a book. Uh, it is definitely faster than anybody should be expected to consistently write books. And the problem is, even if you did manage to keep up that punishing schedule of publishing books, not all of them were successful. I mean, I told you, I, I wrote four books and Amazon lost one of them and, and Amazon miscategorized one of them. So I might as well have only written two books. So it was starting to become really, really unsustainable. But you know me, there is no problem that is too big that you can't ignore it. So I just carried on regardless and it kind of worked. You know, April, May and June of 2019, um, I, I just really doubled down on these biker books and I was publishing them at pretty much one every single month and I was getting the, the traction that I wanted to on them and I was maintaining an income of around $7,000 a month which was less than I would want it to be but that is still a, a pretty healthy income um, and you know I was still loving what I was doing I was loving writing these books especially these biker books by this time I was um, get five books into my biker book series and I was loving the characters, I was loving the situations, I was writing this big story arc that was really rewarding. One book, Wolf, that I published, it I wrote in five days. And I would not like to try and repeat that on a regular basis, but it was just I sat down and it just like flowed out of me. And it was one of the best performing books I've ever had. It's one of my favourite books of all time. So, you know, I enjoyed it. And it was still paying the bills. That's the main thing. And it was... It was still a system that worked. You publish a book, while you're making income from that book, you write the next book. So when you publish that book, you would catch the tail end of the previous book's income. And then you use that to write the next book and catch the tail income of the previous book. So as long as you keep writing books and as long as they keep being reasonably successful, you can keep a sustainable level of income. I told you, Jeff Bezos was, was one of my enemies. There was one other enemy I had to deal with me yeah the problem is it was a lot of pressure and it was becoming more and more pressure the system worked but to maintain it i had to write and publish a book pretty much every month and more than that it had to be a hit so i couldn't do that thing where i wrote a book and it got miscategorized as erotica i couldn't write a book and um, have amazon lose it i couldn't write a book and have a bit flop because if it did it would screw me Every release also I was noticing was having diminishing returns. You know, Flint I published expecting $11,000 and I got $7,000. And um, Wolf I published expecting $7,000 and I got $5,000. So it was, it was like I was circling the toilet bowl. And keeping up writing a book a month with diminishing returns while I've got three kids at home is a really, really punishing schedule. And at some point, I just, I, I just lost it. At the very beginning of this course, I said one of the, the problems that people who are starting off who've, who've published one book, one of the problems they face is if I'm not getting any sales of my first book, what's the point of writing a second one? And I was starting to feel like that. In the first half of 2019, I wrote five novels. Uh, but in the second half of 2019, I wrote one. I ended up realizing that I wasn't going to be able to support my family by keeping up with this punishing schedule and it had stopped me, it had stopped writing from being enjoyable. And I had started to hustle for money doing other things, designing websites for people, uh, doing, doing side work uh, as a contractor and stuff like that. I was just desperate. It was, it was not, it was stopped being fun. When I started publishing books, a good title and a good launch strategy which is guarantee income for, for months to come uh, and every single book you wrote added to your bottom line just through organic discoverability. It's like, you know, you publish a book and it would launch at $10,000 a month and then the next month it would have $5,000, then $3,000, but at the very least, forever, you would always have some income coming in. So there was some logic to the thought that if you just wrote enough books, eventually you would just have an organic, natural income that could sustain you. But Amazon introducing advertising on Amazon 
just changed everything and it made Amazon a pay to play marketplace, which basically means if you weren't advertising your books, people weren't buying your books because they were practically invisible. And it made me realize that an entirely new strategy was needed. And it was rough and it was a real struggle. And a lot of the times I used to miss the good old days in which you could launch a book and get organic sales and, and just viral discoverability. And I could have that wonderful feeling like I did when I published uh, Sold to the Cartel of, of being like, where did I go right? Waking up in the morning and seeing hundreds of dollars in royalties for that day. But the thing I don't miss about that was that constant pressure to keep writing and keep publishing books. Every book had to be successful, otherwise your momentum would drop. You had a huge opportunity. You had an opportunity to like have a viral hit and your entire world change. But it also meant a lot of risk because you also had the opportunity to lose everything with a book publication that didn't go right. And it made me realize that if you want to do this full time, if you want to be a full time writer, you have to build advertising into your structure. And as annoying as that was when I first realized it, now with the benefit of hindsight, uh, I realized that it actually ended up being a good thing. And why? It means that if you use advertising correctly, and if you use it to boost the income that you get from the books you've previously written, it takes that pressure of having to constantly publish new books off. It means you can publish more uh, on your own schedule. It means you don't have that constant drive to just get a book out there and you don't have that constant pressure to make it successful. You can write the books you want to write on a schedule that's more realistic and, and more like the, the kind of schedule you want to write a book on. But it, it's tough because I had to learn an entirely new model. I struggled for all those years to figure out how to make uh, writing and publishing something I could support my family with and then I had to learn everything from scratch again. But I did. I did. And these days I consistently make a 70% return on investment on my advertising for my books, which means if I invest a dollar in advertising, I will get a dollar 70 back, which means I cover the dollar that I invested and I have 70 cents of profit. And then it becomes more a question of math than anything else. It means I can consistently and uh, constantly maintain my income level based off my back catalog books and anything new I publish if it's successful that just adds to it and that's just gravy um, and when I publish a new book it organically drives the sales of my old book it means that, that it means that the publishing in general on Amazon is is tougher to break into because you have to, to understand and, and dis discover what's going to work in terms of advertising but at the end of the day it's still the same four rules that apply You've got to learn the craft of writing. You've got to learn the process of successful self-publishing, including advertising now. You've got to find your readers out there and you've got to stick with it. But as long as you follow those four basic principles, it is going to work. You can make a living on through self-publishing on Amazon. You can become a successful self-publisher who supports your family.